Go to the main menu by right clicking your mouse and go to camera then the image settings. You can manage a variety of image manipulation features on your camera if your camera happens to be compatible with your DVR or NVR. In this case this is an IP camera. For IP cameras to be able to be manipulated through the NVR, you need to make sure that they're both able to talk to each other, the camera and the NVR. The NVR sends a command, the camera takes it, applies it, and sends an OK back. Unless stated, all of our IP cameras have two-way talkback feature with our NVRs. Select models and select cameras are designed to be able to communicate with each other. If you have a third-party camera purchased elsewhere, and it's using the Envy protocol, you will not have two-way talk features in between the camera and NVR you would have to log into that IP camera to set its image manipulation features or enhancement features and then allow that video to be streamed over to the NVR to be recording. When you use our cameras in NVR, you have the ease of use because of they're designed to work with each other. Now, if you have an analog camera DVR or an HD analog coax-based DVR and cameras, you will have a different set of, set of options here. You may just have brightness, contrast, saturation, and all this section here. You will not have flip. You may not have WDR. You may have access to day and night and some of these other features, but it's dependent per camera and how it talks back to the DVR. In this case, we're on an NVR. Now you can easily toggle different settings here and decrease brightness, contrast, etc., and manipulate your image to your liking. And you can even flip it It takes a few seconds to apply these settings. So here you go. We recommend, really there's no necessity to change any of these settings unless you find something going awry with your camera because usually the auto features are plenty to get a good ideal image coming out of the camera. Now one feature that I do want to explore is the WDR. Some of our cameras have a WDR feature and WDR comes in three different types. There is DWDR, real WDR, and no WDR. This camera happens to have real WDR. If it was sunnier, let's say, and the sun was hitting this area, you would actually see if you don't if your camera does not have any WDR, this would behind the glass outside, it would completely be whited out because the camera is really trying to try to get one scene here, either the inside or the outside. It could be that the inside may become very dark and the outside will become very visible or vice versa. So that's where WDR comes in. It's called, it stands for Wide Dynamic Range and it allows you, the camera to take a picture of the foreground and the background and combine them automatically and intelligently to give you the best possible picture. So I've hit apply and it takes a little bit of time and now you see when the camera recalibrates, it tries to give you the best possible picture for both inside and out. Now the day and night, you can force the camera to stay in black and white mode or you can force it to stay in color mode or just be leave it alone as auto. For this demonstration, I had put it in color mode. And here you can see that now I put it in black and white. So what the camera does is there is a photo sensor in the front that is responsible for turning on infrared. And when that photo sensor senses that there is daylight or very little light, it will act accordingly and turn on the infrared or tell the camera sensor to go into black and white mode. And every camera is different. It has a lux rating. So depending on how dark it is, it will figure it out itself whether it wants to stay in color mode or black and white mode. Now, 3D DNR stands for 3D noise reduction. It's on by default. If you had it off, you would see more graininess. Depends on the scene and depends on how dark it is basically. So the darker it is, the more noise you get in a picture. So 3D DNR tries to take care of that. So the picture appears a little bit prettier. WB mode stands for white balance. 
you can play with this and set it to your liking, but usually the auto feature or the auto setting is plenty. It really doesn't make a difference in some cases like this, so we just leave it as auto. Now, you can do this channel by channel by switching to different cameras you have. Like so. And then, under the camera menu, you also have the ability to set camera names. Now, this ability to set camera names and have them appear on the cameras when you are viewing them or even on the cameras themselves when you're viewing them on the DVR um, or the software or the phone, it depends on the camera being able to talk to the DVR and VR and say, okay, yep, this is my name and I'll set it. That's in case of IP cameras, so there needs to be that, that two-way talk feature. If you're using a camera with Envy, there's no guarantee it'll capture the name you set here. You would have to configure that on the camera. On analog DVRs, that's not the case because what's happening is the video is being sent as analog to the DVR. This is true for tribrid DVRs, hybrid DVRs, analog, true CCTV DVRs, whatever, the XVR, all of them. The DVR encodes the video. It does the horsepower to save it as a digital format. So if you specify a name for that camera that's uh, coming over coax, you can set a name to whatever you want. And the registration menu is available only for IP cameras. So if you have an IP camera, you would see that here or a tribrid DVR that allows you to add IP cameras as well. Thanks for watching this video.